Good day everyone, I am Marion Abanto and today I will be discussing to you all about the digital footprint. So first, let's define digital footprint. According to Gupita R. 2019, the term digital footprints refers to a trail of people's online behavior or simply what you post on the internet leaves impression about who you are. So meaning to say that everything about you that can be found on the internet, that is digital footprint. So you leave a print when you create a post, simply surf the web, the website you visit, the news article you comment on or type in a, into a chat service. So it's a trail or trace that you leave behind. Okay, now let's talk about the positive and negative digital footprints. So positive digital footprints entail not only exercising good, good judgment when it comes to what we share online, but also understanding how to protect our privacy and creating strategies for dealing with potentially ne negative circumstances. So here's the example. First is keeping your passwords to yourself because um, it is important that you protect your own privacy for your own safety as well. Kaya nga, importante rin na kapag mag-create ka ng passwords in any social media accounts mo, dapat gagawa ka ng strong passwords. Hindi yung madaling hulaan kasi um, pwede yun magamit against you. And you should not give your password to anyone else. Kasi hindi mo alam yung pwedeng mangyari sa kapag binigay mo yung password mo sa maling tao. Next is, everything you look up or post is positive. Kasi syempre, ano ba yung nagiging epekto nito kapag lahat ng nilook up mo is or pinopost mo is positive. So, pwedeng maging epekto nito ay um, you can spread positivity, you can encourage someone by posting something that is positive. You can influence others. And it's also for your own gain. Next is, having a positive digital footprint can keep you out of trouble and can help you in the future. Why? Because your digital footprint can affect your future opportunities. So, for example, pag graduate mo and nag-apply ka ng trabaho and di mo alam na yung company na yun or yung manager na yun ay nag-search about you and they find negative and inappropriate things you posted. So, tingin mo makakapasok ko pa rin sa job na in mo. So, ayun, hindi na. Because of your digital footprint. But if um, but if what they find is positive, of course, there's a chance for you. So, it's really important that, that you have a positive digital footprint. And let's proceed now about negative digital footprints. Negative digital footprint is the stuff on the internet that you wouldn't like to be there. Basically, whatever you would not want any of your friends, family, etc. to see would be classed as a negative digital footprint. So, for example, is yung mga inappropriate features. Mga pictures na hindi naman necessary i-post sa social media. Like yung mga malalasong pictures, kasama na rin dito yung mga drunk or tipsy photos. Meron pa kami sa inyong magkakat sila ng risk nila and then, and then they will post it in social media. I think that is inappropriate kasi there is a tendency na ma-influensyahan nila yung iba na nakakita nun. Kasi di ba ang mga tao ngayon, kung ano yung nakikita nila sa social media, ayun yung ginagaya nila. Next is mention of drugs or alcohol. Like for example, may post na related about drugs or alcohol and then someone mentioned you in that post. That could also affect your digital footprint. Also, even logging into inappropriate website. Next is negative comments about someone or paninira or pagsasabi ng kung ano-ano negative comment dun sa tao. Kasi alam naman din natin na karamihan sa mga user ng social media kapag may tao silang nakaalitan o nakaaway, ang ginagawa nila. Kaya hindi rin magandang ideya na gawin ito dahil maaari mo rin itong ikasira. Next is poor communication skills. Siyempre dahil through social media ka rin nakikipag-communicate, lalo na kapag nakikipag-usap, there is a tendency na ma-misinterpret ka pa rin nakausap mo dahil hindi naman niya nakikita yung facial expression mo. 
And lalo kapag hindi rin maayos yung pagkakakonstruct mo ng mga sinasabi mo. Next is discriminatory comments. Parang katulad din ito ng mga pagsasabi ng mga negative comments si isang tao. Hindi rin maganda na gawin mo ito dahil hindi lang ikaw yung ma- pwedeng maapektuhan. Kaya mahalaga na isipin mo na natin mga bagay-bagay natin gawin. Kailangan maging responsible consumer tayo ng technology. Isipin din natin yung maaaring maging epekto nito, hindi lang sa atin, kundi na rin sa iba. Maganda na maging good influence tayo sa iba. And now, we, are, uh, we have here some fast facts about digital footprint. So first, everything you do is stored in a remote area that you may never have known about. So, if you watch the social dilemma, sinabi doon na um, every single action you take is carefully monitored and it is also recorded. Exactly what image you stop and look at uh, for how long you eat. They can also know when people is lonely, depressed, or if they are looking at someone else's picture. Next is, if you want a job in the future but you have a negative digital footprint, even though you would have gone to college to specialize in its chances or you're not getting it. So, katulad nga nung sinabi ko kanina, it is really important to have a positive digital footprint because it can keep you out of trouble and can help you in the future. Next is, if you visit a website, the website usually looks at what websites you were on before and after you look at theirs. Next is, everything you do online today will be recorded, stored, and analyzed to determine your reputation score, which will be updated instantly and used to predict your behavior. So, this will then have huge consequences for your career, business, and every other aspect of your life. And lastly is, negative comments, reviews, unorthodox features, and more can all leave a scar on our reputation no matter how long ago it was posted, said, or etc. So, kahit kaano pa katagal na yun na post, it can all leave a scar on your reputation. Next is, your digital footprint is relevant in today's world. So, it is important that you must consider what you post online to build a positive digital footprint. So, here are some tips for from my future 2020 to help you build a positive digital footprint. First is set your privacy settings. It's just as important to know what should be public as it to know what should be private. Make sure um, the privacy settings on every platform you web or or website you visit are appropriate for your needs. Dapat aware ka rin sa sarili mo. Ano yung mga bagay na dapat pinapublic lang at ano yung dapat na naka-private for your own safety as well. Next is, consider your... Next is, posting positively online. So, you may tell stories about your interests, talents, accomplishments, and experiences using sentences, images, videos, or a combination of this, depending on the site. And lastly, think before you post. So self-regulation is knowing when something you want to post online is or isn't appropriate. Pwede mo rin i-consider, for example, kung ano yung pwede maging outcome nung gagawin, yung actions na gagawin mo. And lastly, my realizations and implications to moral and ethical principles. So people must be aware and educated about their digital footprints. We must learn to safeguard the privacy of our own while respecting others' privacy. Our digital footprint is permanent and each post lives a digital trait. So before posting online, it's important to assess things first because what we share online has an effect on both ourselves and others. Lastly, encouraging them to live a positive digital footprint can help them grow into responsible digital citizens. So, yung implica- implications naman ito sa moral and ethical principles is first, yung accountability. We are accountable of what we do online. So, it's better to think before you click. And next is to uphold the principle of autonomy because we have the ability to make our own decision about what we post and what 
we should not post online. And as a future values educators, we should empower them to continue to make good choices when they are on their own. When they are on their own. And that's all for my presentation. Thank you.